Hi everyone, Pridhi Bhaiya from TGT and welcome to a quick update video about the iOS beta. Apple has released iOS 15.5 beta 1 for the developers, public beta may be out as well. You need to have the iOS 15 beta profile installed on your device to update to this version. The update size was 5.66 GB in this iPhone XR. I was on iOS 15.4.1 public version previously. The new build number for this update is 19F. 5047e there is a new modem update in this version so network and connectivity should improve now let's talk about what's new in ios 15.5 beta 1 within the course there is a mention about the new upcoming apple music app called apple classical so very soon we will have a separate apple music app for classical music from around the world within the apple wallet if you use apple card or apple pay then that has been rebranded as Apple Cash and there are now request and send buttons to make it easier to manage cash directly from the wallet. Also that same rebranding has been done on the messages app as well. So within this section you will now see Apple Cash option instead of Apple Pay. If you use universal control and have updated your iPhone to iOS 15.5 beta 1 then you need to update your Mac to macOS Monterey 12.4 beta 1 and your iPad to iPadOS 15.5 beta 1 to work it properly. So universal control users, if you update to iOS 15.5 beta 1, you need to update your Mac and iPad to the new beta releases as well. Do remember that. Apple is also introducing SportsKit as it prepares to launch Friday Night Baseball and the Apple TV app mentions for reporting scores for different baseball innings live on the screen. Also Apple is rebranding the iTunes passes as well. Within Apple Wallet there is an option called iTunes Pass to add balance to your Apple ID. This is now being rebranded as Apple Balance from this beta. If you update your Apple Watch to WatchOS 8.6 beta 1 then within the watch app then accessibility then voiceover and then within the hand gestures you will now see a new gesture called Magic Tap. We don't know the utility of this yet, but it is there. Performance wise, iOS 15.5 beta 1 is running smooth enough in this iPhone XR. I have not noticed any lag in performance in this version from the previous public release. Also, this beta is really smooth in older iPhones as well, such as in this iPhone 7. Battery life seems to be same as iOS 15.4.1, but it will take a few days to report. Apple also released iPadOS 15.5 beta 1 which I have in this iPad 6 gen. All the updates and changes and features I mentioned are applicable for this device as well. This version is ok so far in this old iPad. Now here is the Geekbench 5 scores for iOS 15.5 beta 1 for this iPhone XR. The scores are at par with the previous public release. So if you have a secondary device and really want to try out a new beta, then only you should install this version otherwise there is no need to install this version yet. I have summed up all the features of iOS 15.5 beta 1 in the shortest possible way. Hope you have liked it. Do like, share and subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.